Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tetrix RoboBite video series. This is Tim from Pitsco Education. Today's RoboBite, I wanna talk to you about the Tetrix Omni Wheel Pack. Now the Omni Wheel or Omni Directional, which Omni is short for, is a very specific wheel. It's part of the motion category in the Tetrix ecosystem. And it's designed with a very specific function in mind. We have four inch and we have a three inch size. Now. The Omni Wheel, again, is uh, basically designed in its most common use to be specifically uh, as a, we used as a wheel, but also uh, a very special wheel in the fact that it not only rotates in this direction like any other common wheel, but because of these rollers mounted around the perimeter of the wheel, it also can rotate or roll in a perpendicular direction. So again, like the name uh, implies, omnidirectional, you can actually use this wheel to rotate in uh, and roll in any direction at any given time. So it becomes very useful in things like a pivot, uh, either at the front or the back of your robot, or to create a very unique type of drive system called a holonomic drive, a drive that allows the robot to drive in any given direction at any time without actually rotating. So. Uh, it becomes a very unique type of a drive system. Let me go ahead and show you how the wheel comes because again, this is uh, sometimes a little bit confusing for folks. It comes in a pack and in each pack you have two of each wheels. Uh, you have a inspiration card with directions on how to actually uh, 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 build the pair, pair because they're designed to work as a pair. And then also a very uh, unique and special spacer that's designed to use uh, to actually strut the wheels together. So let me show you what that looks like. Here is a pair that is created. And again, I'm gonna hold this like this, hopefully you can see. The reason that they're created as a pair to work together is the fact that, again, if you, if you use one of these by themselves, which you can do, you'll notice in between each roller, there's a little bit of a flat spot, which would create a bump as you roll this across. But if you offset that, and I hope you can see that the rollers are offset, you then, uh, each one of those rollers compensates for the other wheel and it becomes a very uh, much more smooth action between the two as you complete a more full circle and the rollers compensate for each other. So again, it becomes, when used as a pair, a much smoother action between the two. Uh, this is how that would look on a channel. <clears throat> Again, mount it as a pair. Uh, you can see that uh, as the uh, rollers, uh, uh, the wheel rotates, those rollers compensate and makes a smooth action. Troubleshooting. Uh, some of the things you need to uh, think about when you're using these as a pair, especially, again, those rollers stick out a little bit beyond the width of the wheel. Uh, and you can see that you don't want those rollers to rub against each other. So spacing becomes very important, not only between the two themselves, but also next to a channel. So those are the things you need to look out for when you're actually mounting these on your uh, robot chassis. Additional resources. You can always go to www.pitsco.com and at the bottom of every product page, there are, are all kinds of resource files CAD files for a 3D uh, drawing, spec files that show you exact specs for each part. They're all available at the bottom of the product page for every part that we have for pitsco.com. So like we always say, have fun, build some robots, come back and see us. <laughs>